welcome to this episode of Made in Dunedin. This program will highlight those ideas and businesses that are unique to our community. The things that set Dunedin apart. The people and places that make this area unique and different. I'm here at the first annual Dunedin Art Crawl in celebration of the Love Downtown Dunedin Mural Project and Canvas Reveal. My name is John Gascott and I'm a visual artist from St. Pete, Florida. I was sent to call for Downtown Dunedin's Mural Project and I applied right away. I was very interested and I'm fortunate enough to be one of the 11 artists chosen for this. So what I chose to represent is uh, Scottish heritage of Dunedin. This is the Loch Ness Monster along with uh, the micro brucing is uh, huge in Dunedin also. So I have the hops and the barley represented also. I'm doing a mural for uh, Cooney's Brewery. And so basically, I'm doing two hands coming together and then there's the earth in between it. Um, basically, just to represent how much we need to be there for each other right now to come together. It's definitely a very hard time um, this year and in this world, political, um, lifestyle-wise, uh, movement-wise, really just everything in general. And I get involved with the Love Downtown Dunedin Art Project, which has stay taken 11 artists from the local community, and we've been painting murals around town and celebrating color and the vibrancy of refreshing downtown Dunedin and beyond. Uh, my particular mural is what I painted at Bon Appetit uh, on the waterfront there uh, and I painted a, a dolphin, the silhouette of a dolphin and it's jumping up in this, the air and it's got the sun behind it and it's got all these beautiful vibrant colours and a spoonbill is flying acro across the sky but the response that I've been getting from it has been just wonderful, I'm really happy that uh, people are just you know, getting a, a kick, get really a nice thrill out of seeing this artwork down there. Like, well, my 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 visual language, uh, something that I gravitate to generally in my art is very flowy lines that have very, um, I guess, to me, very pleasing uh, shapes and very dynamic. And I, when I'm around that kind of imagery, it always feels invigorating and it feels like it injects some life into the environment. And I think that the Love Downtown Dunedin Mural Project trademark uh, is, um, is, you know, sort of aimed towards injecting some vitality into the area. I decided to do a little history of Dunedin. Back when Honeymoon Island was called Hog Island, there was all these little thatched huts on the island and so I did, wanted to really capture that and do a piece that captured that. Um, I do most of my art out of recycled material. So I use styrofoam boxes and broken glass. And I tried to really depict uh, how it would look back then and to use new and different materials to achieve that. I am a mural artist and apparel designer now um, from Tampa Bay and I am working on this mural for Salon GW in downtown Dunedin. Um, I applied to it, they accepted me, they matched me with this building, and the reason why mainly is because these colors actually match my like brand colors and the way that I mainly work, like the colors I normally work in, and it worked out really well because as you can see, the uh, design matches the building, and. Everything. I created this painting which remembers Freddie Webb who was a Dunedin icon and was absolutely famous for driving around town in a golf cart that was covered in rubber duckies and teddy bears. Freddie was, um, she was born and raised here. People had all kinds of stories, both visitors and residents had stories about how Freddie would pick up complete strangers and drive them around town for, you know, sometimes she wouldn't bring them back for 30, 45 minutes and people were a little bit intimidated by her driving. As far as we know, maybe towards the end, she didn't even have a driver's license. The station aspect of art is uh, not to be overlooked during these times because we're going through some very challenging times and something has to change. So being a part of this opportunity to 
put my colour and art down here uh, is a great thing for Dunedin, for the people of Dunedin and for all the, the visitors that come here. Uh, there's nothing but in improvements uh, that have been gained for this town with our art. I mean, I think public art is really important because it inspires people, it gets a conversation going, um, it helps people um, realize certain emotions that they feel inside that they might not before. And I, I think that's why public art is so important, so crucial in cities. I think public art is important just because I'm a, a big fan of color and I like the fact that it lets us express ourselves. Even if you can't paint, you can express yourself by taking pictures of art and sharing it. I'm very impressed with the city of Dunedin for launching a project like this because they're showing the general public the importance of art in community. Especially in a time like this, I think people need to start viewing us artists as small businesses and we need support just as well as your mom and pop shop or your restaurant. Dunedin is very beautiful, but a little bit of color doesn't hurt. One of the most delightful things about Dunedin is that even when we are struggling, the community continues to prioritize art and the Love Downtown Dunedin Mural Project is a perfect example of what the community chooses to support. The next time you're in downtown Dunedin, make sure to check out these colorful murals. They're made in Dunedin.